Welcome back, beautifuls. Last time we left off, uh, psycho murder man, flamethrower, Charizard dude is actually good like I thought he was. And now Josh is in trouble in this shed, so we're gonna go out and save him, apparently. Whatever, let's do this! Oh, wait, did I say my intro? I don't remember. I say welcome back, beautifuls. If I, I don't even know what's going on right now. I I haven't slept well. Hey, I'm just let's let's do this. Let's just do it. Alright, here we go. Didn't I already do this? So how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun? Oops. Before it's dead. Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, and it'll slow it down. But well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Oh, it's that light well, what, what, over what there. What are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're going to do? Well, they adhere to some patterns, like any animal or human. Well, you mean like how? Oh, oh, shit! What in the hell? Any, uh, pro-Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Uh oh, is my death? I guess you have no other choice. Uh oh. These things, Wendigos, are or, or were human. Do they do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? <laughs> Maybe they could be cured. Or <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure. There's no redemption. I, I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know if it's right to hurt them. When you're staring one in the face, it's them or you. You feel free to take the high road. You won't be on it for long. Oh. <sighs> Bet you Josh is not even gonna be there. And he's gone. Why is there so much blood? Damn it, what happened? I don't remember that being there. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh oh. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind you go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Uh-oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Fucking know it. 
Oh man. Should I like look for clues? Let's look for some clues. Oh. Jeez. Anything else that I couldn't observe before? Ah, forget it. <laughs> the attitude that he has. Chris is just like, yeah, fuck, whatever. Oh, crap. Anything else I should be aware of? No? Okay, well, thought I might look. Oh, his face is grimacing. so good up there right now understatement of the night chris where's the flamethrower guy uh yeah he uh he didn't make it no what happened the thing it uh, tore him apart right in front of me oh god all right these are all the doors yeah are you sure what are you looking for another way out mike look i really don't think that's a good idea we should stay put right here until dawn at least I we're think safe so down too. here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then we're shit out of luck. Or we could just I don't wait. Know, Mike. You it's know? possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and huh? M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not you have to be. What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? 
You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was, this so it was like 15 Wendigos? And I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh my it's god. It's nothing. Oh, it no, just it, oh, no, it bit no, no, me no. and... It bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's... It's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you... don't turn to a Wendigo unless you resort to cannibalism. That's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said that. Is that how it worked? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! Are you serious? You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do, and I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my God, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, Em. Okay, please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. No. Not for us. Come on, it doesn't work no, like that. Don't do this! The flamethrower really Charizard dude said you have to resort to cannibalism. I'm not gonna do it. Fuck you, huh? Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my god. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Okay, Ashley is just like staring. It's kind of creepy. I thought that that he was gonna help us with the flamethrower, dude. Now we don't have a chance. No, but it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Only a few men have dared the hunt of Wendigo. Only one man has ever kept them under control. This guy's a little for... OCD. Come on, I was reading! Damn. He these words are, it shall be your death, and your death will not be your last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. Oh, I have seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the changes begin. The eyes turn first, and they become milky and white. 
and the teeth become longer, like fangs, the creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. Good to know. There was a terrible tribe that lived in these mountains, the Crane. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in There's ice. There's a lot of history to this. Come on, let me read! God damn. Anyway, the tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm it. an animal in the mountain and it would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree said that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. That makes no sense. This says sense. that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Well, they were once human. Anyway. Oh, where was I? Uh, more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you were to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard, like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from human and knows how to hunt us, it can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Well, now the flamethrower is, like, just chilling outside by a dude's dead body. Fire envelops them, burns them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I used tra traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them, basically dead bodies. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. There may be, there may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I found native artifacts. Is that spelled wrong? Anyway, I found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems. Bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them out. On the mountain, they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Interesting. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless as... Oh, wait. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. So, I was right, and M's completely fine. Oh. oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Uh, you're not gonna lie about that, so are you sure? It says that... The bites... It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, I'm just gonna um, be pissed. It says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that he fine? He didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for this. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Oh! <laughs> I'm so, 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 so Savage! Sorry. Shit. Oh my god, that's shit, great. Shit. Understand the palm of my hand, you bitch. <laughs> now. Oh god. Uh. Wait, why are we going to Mike? Wait, why are we leaving the safe house? Oh, Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. 
Remember last year? Huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. I think the therapist is like the voice in his head, I guess. That's gone terribly like, wrong. Yeah. Your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Um, they hurt me. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. I'm so sorry. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. need to know what happened. I'm just gonna end it while it's doing its thing. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah!